Is there a cigarette? Uh, uh, Fiona reckoned it'd be all right as long as one of the windows was open. <coughs> wow, did you? Did you really say that? George, of course you didn't fucking say that. Jesus. <laughs> but I did open the window. Well, I'm here to see one of the best actors I ever worked with in my whole career by the name of Brian O'Byrne, who I was on Broadway with for about six months and became such a close friend of his that I would go to see anything he's in ever. I think Brian is amazing and, and Jake, of course. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of edgy and wonderful. Those are the only things I know about it. Well, I'm here to support Roundabout because it's a great theater. And uh, I'm very excited to see uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in person because I think he's really cute. I'm excited to see the show tonight. I keep hearing great things about the play, so... I try to see as much theater as I can when I'm working. I, every performance you know, makes me feel more creative. It's about a British family. It's sort of an unhappy family dynamic. We've done a lot of plays about unhappy families. Do you think that it's true that all unhappy families are unhappy in their own way? I do. I think there's a universal sense of, like, why am I with these people that everybody <laughs> experiences? Who are they? But I do think the unique form in which it takes, you know, sort of people take it out on each other is really fascinating. You probably could have returned to the stage in almost any play. Why this one? <laughs> Um, I, lo I fell in love with Nick's writing. I loved just the way that Nick's writing you have to fill out as an actor because it stops mid-sentence most of the time and, you know, it vacillates between, you know, rage and love within three sentences. And it, it posed a real extreme uh, challenge for me in a lot of ways, being British and, you know, the family dynamic. And I just, I, I thought to myself, this is not going to be the easiest thing. But then again, I, I don't like it that easy. So. I think some American audiences uh, have been bemused by this British family who struggle along, but actually I think they learn, you know, we all learn to see the, the, the resonances of it, the universality in it. Brian F. O'Byrne, Jake Gyllenhaal as brothers, did that seem to make perfect sense to you? No. No, I mean, they obviously created better kids as they went along. Quite a, it was a, quite a, a few years later that the handsome son arrived. There were the much delight of the parents, obviously. There's a little bit of an age difference between Anna and I, but at 15, I was very much like Anna. I was bullied for my weight, um, and so that was something that I really felt like I identified with, and it's been interesting to kind of revisit some of that stuff that I thought I shelved away um, with a little bit more of an adult perspective now. It was incredible to find Annie Funky, who is a musical theater actress, who brings such you know deep, raw, brave work to the stage that I couldn't be more excited to pull people from disparate corners of the world to tell this story about saving the planet. We all know what it's like to have a family and be in a family for good or for bad. And I think that's all we have really in the end. And we, we had no choice in it, or so we think. And, and yet I think it's, um, no matter how tough it is, you know, they're your family. There is a balance still with this play. You know, there's still enough humor in it to, you know, you know, lift you as a performer anyway, you know, for, for sure. So, you know, it is dark in its places, but also, you know, we, um, we get to laugh as well. It's huggable, messy, dysfunctional. They love each other. They fight with each other. They try, they fail, they try and fail. And I think we see ourselves in that. Um, I think the play is about responsibility, about you know, how we should be in the world and how we should treat the world. But Nick asks these questions so deftly that you never feel like it's an issue play. You actually just fall in love with these people trying to live their lives properly. Mm -hmm.